Alright, so, um, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna make this video. Um, uh, I, I, this is the first time I ever made a video like this. Um, I've made some reviews before, but, uh, I definitely just want to talk about this. Because, um, it, it, it's definitely keeping me out of playing a whole genre of games, right? So, um, I don't play horror games at all, right? The only horror games that I play are Resident Evil. That is it. That is the only horror games that I have played. Those are the only horror games that I have purchased in the past ten years, right? That's it. Um, and to, to put it simply, I hate American horror games. Um, I think they're incredibly lame, right? Uh... L l let's look at some American horror games. Uh, the biggest ones. Uh, Slender Man, remember? Back in the day. Slender Man. Amnesia. Outlast. Um, Five Lights at Freddy's. Right, these are like the biggest horror games of America, right? I don't think I'm missing any, right? I think those are the only American made horror games that really, like, got popular, right? And what does every single American horror game have in common? There's an enemy, and you run away, and you hide from them, right? That's all you do. You run away from the enemy, and you hide from them, and you... That, 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 that's literally the whole game. You don't fight them at all, um, and you just run around a map, trying to find an objective, uh, while avoiding... Usually with American horror games, you're running from one singular enemy, right? So this game came out, right? And I did not buy this game. I had zero plans to buy this game because it is an American horror game, right? Um, and I think the last American horror game to ever actually do something was Dead Space. By the way, I want to say all this gameplay is from the intro. I'm not going to have any gameplay past the intro. Um, and... Spoiler alert, uh, this intro right here is the only time I enjoyed the game. So, uh, yeah. Dead Space, I feel like, was the last American horror game to actually do something. Uh, and make it fun. And every other American horror game is just lame. It's just running away from one singular enemy the whole time. Uh, so right here, when I saw that dodge mechanic, I was really excited. Because I do want to say, I have not seen a single trailer on this game. So I was very excited when I saw that dodge mechanic. Because it felt good. Um, but we're about to get into it in a second. Why can't American horror game devs get it right? Why? Some people like games like Outlast, right? Some people like games like Amnesia. And that's fine, I guess. But... There is a very clear gap between American and Japanese horror games. Um, even though this game right here may be gorier than most Japanese horror games, even though I, I still, to this day, I still think Resident Evil 2 is actually gorier than this game, Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, like, that game is disgusting. Uh, and I, I might make a lot of comparisons to Resident Evil 2 Remake, but I feel like that is the most recent Resident Evil game that plays exactly like this. Just better in every single way imaginable. Uh, this game... To put it simply, uh, let's, let's just get into it. Uh, this game uh, sucks. And I was... Uh, at this time in... Okay, so I'm going to spoil the intro. Um... Th this is pretty much when you start playing the game, what you see here. This is like how you start playing. Um, and it, the intro go is, goes really well, right? Because it, it, it sets you up, and it shows you all these like different gameplay things, right? Um, it, it, it shows you, oh, here's your melee, here's your dodge, here's your gun, here's your gravity ability, right? And it gives you all of them at like a pretty good pace. Uh, within an hour, you have all of these. So it feels good, right? Um, what's funny is, after you get your little gravity ability, 
That's when I stopped playing the game, and then I got on the game the next day. So, right, like right now, uh, what this game player is seeing, I recorded like I started playing this game as soon as it came out, the midnight release. So, um, you know, I was I was interested because I I did not buy this game. Um, I was uh, uh, playing God of War off of one of my friends because I didn't buy that either. Um, and he and he just happened to have this game too. Like he bought this game and he was waiting for it. So I was like, you know what? I'll play it. Right. Uh, I don't play American horror games, but this game actually has a gameplay, right? And that's what separates it from other American horror games. Besides Dead Space, but it's made by the same guy that made Dead Space, pretty much. So, you know, I'll try it. Uh, and everyone was very excited for this game. So what I will say about this game is that graphically, it may be the best looking game ever made. Um, in terms of realism, uh, and if not, it is definitely up there. All right, so that's where the the pros list goes. Now let's get to the cons. All right, here's here's what I want to make this video about because um, I don't play horror games because of stuff like this. Um, what happened? What genuinely happened with this game? Um. I don't want to make fun of people, right? And like I don't want to I don't want to say that they're wrong, but I've seen a lot of people on Twitter saying you're bad at the combat. You're bad at the game. Do this and you'll be good at the game. Stop complaining, right? And they show you how to play the game, okay? And what I will say here is I don't have footage of it here, right? But I promise you, if you look at anybody's gameplay, you will see what I'm about to show you, right? This game has some of the worst feeling combat I have ever felt in a game, okay? First of all, to dodge, all you have to do is hold left or right. As long as you're holding those buttons, you will dodge, okay? That's it. It's that easy. Um, here's where the problem comes into place, alright? The dodge mechanic was only made for fighting one enemy, right? I also, I also should say that there is no quick turn, right? If there are two enemies and one enemy is behind you, you have to physically run away from them uh, to get them both in front of you. Or use your gravity hand to throw one in front of you. That still requires you to face the right direction, though. It's bad, okay? There's no quick turn in this game for some reason. Um, so, assuming you have both enemies in front of you, right? This, this is how the combat goes. right? Assuming one doesn't just come up behind you mid-combat and murder you, okay? Here's what you gotta do. You dodge one, right? Here's the problem, though. You can only dodge one enemy at a time, right? That is the only defensive mechanic. You can block, but you take damage for blocking. So, you have to dodge two enemies at once, which you can't. You can only dodge one, right? And then, you have to get into melee combat, right? Uh, when I, like, at this point in the game right here that you're seeing, right... I only have a pipe, so I figured melee combat won't be that big of a thing, right? Um, when I get my gun, the melee weapon will only become, like, a tool. It won't be the only way to play the game. Turns out, um, oh, and I do want to make a disclaimer, I did not finish the game. I got about exactly halfway into the game, so I do want to say that. Um, I got to the point where you get the shotgun, uh... I, I didn't even get to use the shotgun yet. I just picked it up and stopped playing. So that's about halfway, I believe. Um, so I got the gun, right? And I got the gravity hand. And with all these abilities, the best way to fight is still with the melee weapon. So you have these two enemies in front of you, right? You grab one of them with the, the hand, you hit them a few times, 
And then when you hit them, a uh, little blue circle appears on the enemy. So you press the aim button, and you press the shoot button. Uh, and it auto-locks onto whatever thing you're looking at, right? And it shoots them. Um, I don't have gameplay of this, because honestly, I didn't bother recording. But if you watch people's gameplay, you will see what I'm talking about, okay? And what I want to say is, right, when you melee someone, the camera angle changes. When you grab someone, the camera angle changes. When you dodge, the camera ang angle changes to the side that you dodged. When you aim and shoot, the camera angle changes to the person that you're aiming and shooting. I want you to pay attention to what I just said right there, right? The camera angle changes for every single thing you do in combat, alright? Add this on to the fact that you're fighting two enemies, which are probably in two different directions. Add this on to the fact that uh, if you're put up against an enclosed space, the camera angle is also changing when it hits a wall or something's in the way. Now try playing that. The camera angle changes about six times, maybe four times a fight, okay? So, and that's normal, right? That's not even talking about if there's something in the way, or if you accidentally dodge into a wall, because that will change your camera angle too. Um, see, see like this, how it's really up close? Yeah, if your camera's brushing against something, it zooms in. Which is normal for games, right? It's normal. But when all of your combat abilities change the camera angle, uh, combine it with that, and it's literal pain, right? And I saw a lot of people on like Twitter saying, oh, you're just bad, blah, blah, blah. Because um, these were genuine complaints that a lot of people had, as well as myself. And it just blows my mind, right? It blows my mind how... People are just manufactured to play these these games, right? These games that highlight and show you where to go. These games that are literally a straight line, right? I don't want to sound snobby, but how are American games so high quality and they're just so bad to play, dude? I don't get how this is still a problem, right? And then you have people who defend it because they've never played a Devil May Cry game, you know? They've never played something like that, which just allows some of the best gameplay on the planet, you know? It, it blows my mind. Because, first of all, this game... The main reason I was excited to play this game is that Finally, it's another Resident Evil game, right? The progression in Resident th There's two things I love of, uh, I love in games more than anything, and there's only two series that do it. Uh, and that's just... Like, going through the level and progressing, and, like, getting shortcuts and stuff. Because it's just crazy, like, how the levels work in... Dark Souls games and Resident Evil games are legendary and they've never been matched. So, I figured this game would have at least some of that. No, it doesn't. Um, this game has zero level progression. You go in a straight line the whole time and that's it. There are very rarely is there a side path and you can go down the side path and get some extra loot. That's it. Um, the exploring in Dark Souls and Resident Evil games is legendary uh, and has never been matched by any other game ever for me uh, and I just don't understand because uh, if you've played God of War recently if you've played Callisto Protocol um, I know I'm not really talking about horror games in general here but I'm just talking about American versus Japanese and also a reason why this game sucks um, this game shows you where to go right there's no objective marker on the screen, right? But there's, for example, um, in this game, there's a red pipe. There's a part with a red pipe. And you have to follow the red pipe, right? 
So you're just you're not really exploring the level. You're just looking around, looking for a red pipe. And when you follow the red pipe, it takes you to your objective, right? If you've played God of War, there are markings that glow that show you exactly where you have to go. This is the problem with games. They just tell you what to do, and you just do it, right? And that doesn't exist in Japanese games, right? Um, and it's mainly a problem with this game, because they talked about how they were inspired by Japanese games, a.k.a. Resident Evil 4, right? And everyone here knows that this game has zero chance against Resident Evil 4, okay? That's like one of the greatest games ever made. But did they even try? Did they even try? Um, let's get to the horror aspect for a second. I'm going to cut this clip real quick and go to another clip, right? I'm going to show you how this game's horror works. Alright, so this is where every ounce of horror from the Callisto Protocol comes from. Jump scare. Boom. Walk forward. I, and maybe if you want to count that as jump scare, but they failed. Things just popping out. Jump scare, if you want to call it that. Um, so we're walking forward. You know, just out, another jump scare. Boom. Alright, so we're walking forward again. Just got done two jump scares. Another jump scare. Boom. Yes. You just saw that correctly. That was three jump scares in about 40 seconds. Maybe 30. That's this game's horror. Alright, I'm going to cut back to the other clip now. Um, oh, here's some combat. Actually, here, I do have a combat clip. Here's some combat. Look how terrible this is. You, you, do you, are you paying attention to this camera? Did you just see how that looked? Okay. And this is when I was still getting the hang of combat, so I wasn't doing everything properly yet. I wasn't really using my gravity hand that much. Um, so yeah, um, okay, yes, yeah, so th this is an intro gameplay, I lied, but I mean, this is not that far into the game anyways, um, so it's just like, what, 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 what is this game, man? And then I see people saying, the game, don't listen to reviewers, the game's not that bad. What game are you talking about? This is barely a game. Like, look at these guys spawn in, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna fire these guys, and then, boop! They're all gone. What? What are you talking about? Like, what? Um, yeah, this is, I, I, I think that's the best way to describe it. This is a barely a video game. Um, I don't know what this is, right? It is a, it is, if you like... Telltale games, you will like this. Telltale games without the choice making. If you like watching a movie with a, a, a poorly made story, the story isn't the greatest, but I will admit I have not beat the game, so maybe the story gets great at the end. Who knows? But this game is just cinematic and that's it. There is no game. The actual gameplay sucks. There's a lot of people that will defend the gameplay. If you think the gameplay is fine, or if you think it's fun, you're allowed to think that, okay? But when it comes down to actual facts, the gameplay was horribly designed. Um, it's incre- it is- I haven't felt more repetitive gameplay than Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. If you remember that game, this gives me the same vibes as that game. Um, it, this you you do the same thing over and over again. Melee is better than your gun, right? You always want to melee a guy two or three times, shoot, dodge, repeat, while the camera angle changes for every single one of them actions. Uh. The horror. The horror. So, um, the thing that made RE2 so scary, the thing that made RE7 so scary, the thing that added some fear to RE8 and to even RE4 was that 
you know there's an enemy here, but you can't see him, right? But you know he's there, but you just you just can't see him at all. You don't know where he is, but he's just there, right? I think that's one of the scariest things about, uh, especially Resident Evil 2, especially Resident Evil 7. You know there's an enemy there, you just can't see them. This game doesn't do that. Every, almost every single enemy in the game, they pop out of a vent, they pop out of a wall. Um, it's very rare uh, that you just see an enemy standing there, like this, right? The enemies are standing here because this is like a tutorial mission. I believe this is the first time you fight two enemies at once. So it's kind of like a little tutorial thing. This is still the prologue. You very rarely see two enemies standing there. Right? But if you do see two enemies standing there, you see them. Like, you know exactly where they are. Right? Um, this game shows you the enemies. Uh, whether that's from a jump scare... Which is mainly from a jump scare. I will say, I've played this game for about six or seven hours in total, and I'm not going to lie, minimum, there were probably 60 to... Maybe maybe 40 to 60 jump scares, I will say, in the time that I played the game. Almost every enemy is a mini jump scare. Um... And it, I won't lie, it was scary for the first 30 minutes. Um, but then after that, it just became boring. There was no fear anymore, right? You play Resident Evil games, there's rarely a jump scare in those games. Rarely. But you're anticipating it the whole time. And it never comes. Except the... The one, like... Resident Evil 2 Remake, I don't think, has any jump scares besides one. It might have, like, two or three. But the one with the one-way mirror was incredible. And that was the worst jump scare I think I've ever gotten in my life. Um, and it came pretty far into the game. Uh, and it just... It, it was incredible, and... I didn't. I wasn't even mad about getting jump scared at that point. It was done so. It was a one-way mirror, and they like, they, like the, a liquor jumps through it. Like it, it's. In, it was amazing. This game, um, if you'll notice, uh, if you look at the ground when I'm walking in a lot of these parts, you'll see vents on the floor, right? Pretty much the re the reason those vents are there is because those are spawn points for enemies. Enemies will come out of those vents uh, almost any time there's an enemy. If there's going to be an enemy in that area, he's going to come out of the vent. That's just how this game works. There's no anticipation. It's just, is, is the enemy in this vent? No, that he's in the other vent. And if he's not in the other vent, then there's no enemy in this area. That's how, how it goes. Um, yeah. Uh... If I were to give this game... Uh, I'm not really trying to review the game. I'm more just trying to complain about problems that this game has. If I were to review this game, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Um, the graphics are good, right? It does have gameplay, which is a lot more than other American horror games. It actually does have gameplay. Surprisingly. But the gameplay is a very poor. Very poor. Um, it might as well not even have it at all. You might as well just be running the whole time. Because the camera angle is just so, like, it's, I will say, I, I truly believe this is the worst camera angle, uh, like, like, the worst camera in a video game ever, right? And I'm talking, like, this is worse than PS2 levels, this is worse than PS1 levels. The camera angle just makes you sick. Oh my god. It is just abysmal to look at. And especially when you're fighting two enemies, right? You It may not look that bad right here because I don't have the gravity hand. And I... Did you see that, by, by the way? We're going to get to that in a second. I don't have the gravity hand. And I don't have a gun yet at this point. But you have to use melee, gravity hand, and gun. And they all have different camera angles. 
and the dodge is a different camera angle, and when you get a hit, your camera moves, and when you bump into an object, your camera moves. Oh, man. Oh, man. Anyways, what you just saw right there, how I died, right? If you don't know, in this game, when you hit an enemy, before they hit you, it doesn't matter. So later on in the game, you unlock a heavy attack, right? If you land this heavy attack as they're hitting you, right? Right before they hit you, but as they're hitting you, if you land this heavy attack, it doesn't do anything. If you attack the enemy at all, unless it's with a gun or a gravity hand, if you use a melee attack on an enemy, which is the main form of combat, and you do it right before they hit you, right, during their attack animation, you lose. They will always punch straight through it. I don't know why. I, and, and even, like, maybe I can understand the light attack, right? But this, even with the heavy attack, they go straight through your uh, attack and hit you. It's just another thing that adds on to it. Just another thing. Um, so, like, one thing that really brought to my attention, um, if you played The Last of Us 2, right? How does this game have better melee combat than than this game? How does how does Last of Us 2 have better melee combat than this? How does Uncharted 4 have better melee combat than this? Because melee is the main method of combat in this game. Right? Just take it from like other American devs like Naughty Dog. Their melee combat is better than this. Um It It's just it's just I used to be, like, I used to only play American games, right? But they've fallen off so hard. And it just sucks, because there are still good ones out there. I think Spider-Man, right, is amazing. Um, and, and growing up during this era, it definitely does suck, because, like, you know, things like Spider-Man were amazing. Um... But it's just gotten so old and so stale, right? Um, and I think the last game to really do it for me gameplay-wise that was American, like like a like a, a single-player American game that really did it for me. It was Spider-Man, right? And that was four years ago. I just don't understand why this is still a problem, right? Because look, I do have problems with God of War, right? I think it's too long. I think, uh, I think it showing you where to go is insulting. You know, I never like that. In the first game, it did make sense. They did it for a story reason. I haven't beaten God of War Ragnarok, so maybe it's a story reason reason in the second game. But at this point, it's just old and dumb, and it just shows you where to go, like you're some type of moron. Um, but at least God of War Ragnarok has good gameplay, right? But that's the problem. God of War has had good gameplay for 15 years, you know? A very long time. All these new games come out, like Callisto Protocol, um, man, what are some, uh, what are some other... Uh, Red Dead 2? Red Dead 2 has pretty boring gameplay um even though i'm a big gta 5 fan uh i mean red dead 2's gameplay is also abysmal um definitely better than callisto protocol though it's definitely it's definitely high quality it's just not engaging you know um and i, and I really think that's what it what it, what it comes down to nowadays that um if you can uh, do the combat with your eyes closed like you can in this game. There, I remember seeing a clip going around of a guy beating an enemy with his eyes closed. He wasn't even looking at his screen. Um, because the combat is just that easy when you're fighting one-on-one. -on -one. 
Uh, it says a lot, right? It says a lot about how fun your game actually is. Um, and that's why things like Elden Ring, uh, God of War, are just so good. Because the gameplay is crazy in those games. Uh, even Dark Souls 1 has great gameplay. Even Demon's Souls 1 on the PS3. Demon's Souls 1, what? There's only one Demon's Souls. Demon's Souls on the PS3 has great gameplay. Because you're always on your feet, you know, just, just adapting, just doing whatever you can. Even if uh, Demon's Souls on PS3 isn't the highest quality game ever, it's still enough to keep you playing the whole game, and it has great level design and all that. Um, it, it, it's not a game made to blow you away because of its graphics and its cinematic value, right? Like this game is. Um, and by the way, yes, I just dodged that attack right there and I got hit by it. That happens a lot in this game. You will dodge an attack and it will still hit you. Um, I think that happened to me in my playthrough about eight times. Um, and it seems to be incredibly common. Uh, so th that, that's just a normal thing that happens in this game. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I did see a very good comparison for this game, uh, and, and I'm thinking I'm going to end the video soon, because, uh, I feel like I've ranted long enough, um, but I do want to say that if you like this game, that's on you, but for most people, uh, buying 70, paying $70 for this, it's a scam, alright, and I do want to say that I saw the most perfect comparison of all time for this game this game is like the order 1886 that's the most that's the best way to put it this game is cinematic first and cinematic only every other aspect of game design doesn't matter it all just matters about the realism and cinematicness um that's that's what they went for here cinematicness and realism and I will say they did a good job on that that's the best part of the game it's just that the gameplay sucks everything sucks um I don't know what else to say this game has really disappointed me and I wasn't even excited for this game um but it, it just it just shows you the 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 the, the downfall that uh, at least American games have gone on, right? And I hate saying American, right? Because it's like a weeb loser. Yeah, American games. But it's just like... I mean, really, look at the past, like, three or four years. I mean, what American games have come out that aren't indie, right? Because indie games seem to really focus on their gameplay more than anything, right? triple a american games that have come out that are actually good gameplay wise right because i remember the last time i was blown away okay. Got it. was spider-man and god of war 20 in 2018 now, I, found it in my, I mean what has come out i'm really trying to think like um most of these games are just throwaway right um and I feel like the only time American Deaths can really get it right is when it's a first-person shooter. Because, right, first-person shooters are all about the gameplay and almost nothing else. So, that's, the, like, I don't remember the last story game that really got it right. Um, even Dying Light 2, which came out this year, has horrible gameplay compared to the, compared to, to the original. It has better movement and a better map, but the gameplay has fallen off so hard. Um, it just sucks. It really does. It really does suck. Um, because I, 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 I like American games. You know, I used to like them. I just don't understand why they have to be so samey and so unoriginal nowadays. Um, and I hate complaining about this because, I mean, like I said, up until maybe three or four, maybe five years ago, I only played American games. Um, but now it's hard for me to, right? Even God of War, I'm really struggling to beat God of War, right? And I do want to say the last 
story game that I fully played all the way through was Last of Us 2, right? And I felt myself uh, struggling to beat that game. So here we are in the new God of War, two years later, after Last of Us 2. And I'm halfway through, and I'm almost, I'm just done with the game, and I'm halfway through. Somehow I have to muster up the strength to, to go all the way. But it's just, it's just the state of where these games are. They're so long, and it's just like, I, I don't know, man. I really, I, I do think Insomniac knows what they're doing, so I don't, I, I like how, like, Spider-Man games are pretty short, right? And they have amazing gameplay. So I'm looking forward to that. But, um, this game, it just, it just really reinforced the way I felt about, uh, a lot of things. And it kind of sucks, because I want to be proven wrong, right? And I'm sure the Dead Space remake will be a lot better, but that's a remake of a game that was already successful, right? Um, like, I don't know, man, it, it just sucks now, you know, it, it really does. And, and I felt like my rant just turned into something greater here, but, you know, I'm definitely not talking about Callisto Protocol anymore, but just the thing, in, the, the whole thing in general. But this game really set me off while I was playing it. Like, what what have we come to? Because, you know, th this ain't it, you know? Um, yeah. Uh, I think... I think I will only be buying Resident Evil games from now on when it comes to horror games. I think that's where uh, I think that's where uh, my this, this this game has really shown me. Um, yeah, just stick to uh, stick to Resident Evil. I think that's what I'm going to do from now on. Um, if you're wondering if you should buy this game, I say wait for it to be fifteen to twenty dollars. Uh and buy it and play it because I do think the graphics are very good and the cinematic quality is very good so if you're entertained by that you'll like this game but if you want something more than graphics you ain't gonna find it here um, level designs bad gameplays just disorienting and just not it just feels terrible and and the gameplay is all done for you, I should say. Everything is just automatic. You just press the buttons and it just automatically does it. You don't have to aim. If you're playing correctly, you don't have to aim. You don't have to do all that. Um, yeah. 5 out of 10. Um, do not recommend. Uh, I went on a long rant here. I hope I made sense. And I hope I'm not sounding like like some snobby game elitist here. Ooh, Japanese games are so much better. And I'm not really just talking about Japanese games in general. I do want to say, I'm just talking about other countries too. Uh, a lot of them just happen to be from Japan. But, um, well actually no, because some European games suck really bad too, like Ubisoft. Uh, so w whatever, whatever. I just want things to be good again. And if we keep going in this direction, we're never going to reach that level. Um, and I think that will be shown because Sekiro won Game of the Year. What won Game of the Year last year? Last year was a pretty bad year for games. So I don't remember. But Elden Ring is definitely going to win this year. We're just going to have all these Japanese games winning Game of the Year forever. From now on forever. And I feel like it's just going to show that, uh, we need to step it up here. Look, I, I got hit mid... I interrupted his attack, but he, he, he won somehow. Oh man, oh man. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Um, bit of a long video, but I, just, I want to get it out there. Um, yeah. Uh, 5 out of 10, Callisto Protocol. Don't buy it. Wait for it to be free or wait for it to be like $20. Um, and yeah. Sub if you want. Uh, 
if you're subbing expecting content like this, I must say I don't make content like this at all. Um, I do make reviews for the games that I'm playing, uh, but not not usually all the time. And I never make a rant video. This this might be my first rant video because uh, I really just had to to go in on this. But yeah, like and sub if you want. Normal content will be coming tomorrow with Guilty Gear Strive because the new character has been revealed, if you don't know. So yeah, um, peace. Hey, there, I do this. Never fear loose. And when I get up in the game, you're up here and prove. A real problem, but I solve them all face proof. And if you think I'm going to fold, then you're talking fool. Yeah, no want to win, let me spin, boy. I'm done to side, I'm super fly like I'm hanging off the rim, boy. I've been winning for my kinfolk. And I put on for my city from the intro. Let's go. I put that time in. My pride is out the roof, I get that grind in. So I'ma tell the truth, I get my grind on. You know the pressure make all of these diamonds. I tell them get back, step back, fast track, big lap, big facts. I'm past that, yeah. I'm trying to get ahead, get out the way. Now move forward, stand back, now break away. I'm about to bring it on. I ain't never backing down. Took a step to the play. For my city, for my town. I've been wanting to change. I'ma go and get this round. Oh, I'ma go and let the round.